Uh, this is a piece uh, by Maurice Ravel, who has the distinction of having died the same year as George Gershwin, 1937. Uh, this is a wonderful little piece. Uh, I would have, have to have Zoli pronounce it. Uh, I'm simply going to call it Pavan. Uh, Pavan for the Dead Princess is a lovely, lovely piece. This is a very nice group. Thank you all for being here. All right. So here's the Pavan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. My goodness. A lot of people are here. Yes. You should have uh, popcorn or something. <laughs> so, uh, everybody should have a secret girlfriend. My secret girlfriend is Sylvia. And, she, and uh, everyone should have a secret girlfriend. Uh, and uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Tom, are you sure you don't want to sing this? Okay. 
Tom is a marvelous, marvelous singer. He's the baritone of your dreams. He really is. So wonderful. This is uh, this is from Carousel, right? Yes. No. This one is for Sylvia. You'll never walk alone. Yes. Wonderful. It was uh, done in the in the show uh, Carousel, 1945, I believe. Yes. I was only one year old. All right, thank you. 
Thank you. I'm having a very good time. I hope you are too. And now I want to bring uh, uh, Joshua Tolman up to play Abide With Me. Uh, I first met uh, Joshua when I came here as music director uh, during the Punic Wars, <laughs> whenever that was, uh, 1996, yes. And uh, I heard him play right away and uh, I thought, you know, we've, we've got to have this on a regular basis. So this is Joshua Tolman and this is uh, William Monk's arrangement of Abide With Me. I shall, I shall try to play it the way it's written. You realize that's a bit of a stretch for me. Right? Lovely, that's Joshua Toma, and uh, his family is here. So, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, all right. I had some requests. Joshua Toma, yes. Thank you for playing, Josh. Wonderful, wonderful. You, you gonna play another one, or is that it? That's it, that'll be it, okay, all right. Okay, I had a request for uh, the Hallelujah Chorus. <laughs> We're going to wait until uh, next week for that. Yes. 
Of course. All right, thank you very much, Joshua. It's always, uh, yeah. I promised him we would drop balloons and things when he came up, and uh, uh, Mike didn't get the balloons, so. Uh, so, uh, of all of these requests, I'm gonna leave this uh, yellow pad here. Am I okay on the mic, Mike? Okay, thank you, Mike, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little fun with that. I'll be uh, teaching my class tonight at uh, Sacred Heart. I'll be off to guide the morals of the young people at Sacred Heart. Dum, da, dum, dum. So uh, we have uh, several requests. Uh, one of them is wonderful Glenn Miller song. And I think I'm gonna stay on the piano to do, then I'll go to the organ and do something. You always like me to play something big and dramatic and rattle the pews and everything. So. I have to build up to that. I do have a nice arrangement of uh, what I'm going to play uh, on Sunday is one of the great spirituals, Steal Away, the wonderful beat. And Ingmar, do you have another song we might work, work in? Yes. Ingmar knows one or two more songs, I think, don't you? No. Good. No. <laughs> no. I'll play one and then, and then uh, we, we, everyone needs to hear a little Glenn Miller for their afternoon. Then we'll bring you up and then I'll go to the organ. All right? Good. Okay, this is Moonlight Serenade. This was Glenn Miller's theme song. One of the, I know I'm not supposed to talk too much, one of the uh, Jeopardy questions, what great musician uh, disappeared over the North Sea during World War II? And that, of course, was Glenn Miller. He had been drafted, and three or four of his guys who were in the group as well. So I always think of Glenn Miller uh, with this one. This is, uh, this is an old church song <laughs> called uh, Moonlight Serenade. Yes, I think it belongs to Lynn, or it should be. It's in that mood. So thank you all very much for being here. And don't forget to write down requests here, uh, up here on the piano on your way out.
Thank you. Isn't that a wonderful song? It's a wonderful song. Sylvia, you and I should have been dancing. But then who would play the piano? Huh. Okay, Ingmar, do you want to play again? Come ahead. Uh, and we will figure out what you're doing, and then I'll, uh, I'll play a, something big and flashy on the organ. I'll probably play Steal Away first, and then something big and flashy. Okay. This is Ingmar Higgins. You are Swedish, right? Um, no, I'm half Swedish, half Norwegian. Oh, oh good. Sort of See what comes out. Welcome to the rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many musical events are <laughs> at rehearsals just like this one? All right. How about we do summertime? Oh, that would be great. Okay. Four game best. Good. This is. <laughs> uh, some of you may think, uh, is this what you usually hear at Lent? Why not? Music is international. It doesn't matter what what it's from. Uh, from the 1935 uh, show written by George Gershwin uh, and his brother Ira, uh, based on a novel by DeBos Hayward and his wife called Porgy. It's a beautiful, beautiful story set in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, I'll stop talking now. So here's Ingmar with uh, Summertime. Surprise! <laughs> We never know exactly where it's going to turn out. Wonderful song. This is a spiritual. This is a steal away. This is from a, a one of my publications. This is a company that uh, my manager, former manager, and I formed. Oh God, years and years ago, 1990, 1991, called Jazz Muse. It's a, 
uh, church music with a hint of jazz, and this one is Steal Away. So hope you enjoy this one. All right, then I'll do another, we'll rattle the tempers a little. It's wonderful to see so many people, good. Please don't forget to write down your requests. And we've got a little bit to do over here. I'm gonna play something with a beat here in a bit, so.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a, thank you. It's a little mood piece. Okay, going back to the piano now. Um, this is uh, another song from Porky and Bess. Oh, yes. Wonderful, wonderful music from Porky and Bess. Yes. It, uh, Porky and Bess was premiered. Uh, they tried to have it premiered at uh, the Metropolitan Opera, but they had to wait uh, almost 50 years where it was fine when it was finally given. So this is one of the wonderful, wonderful songs from Porgy and Bess. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel better. Thank you. Uh, I know you're you're such a with the crowd. You're you are a very we need a modern word. You're a very woke group. How about that? So I how was that? So I knew you would know that uh, those were. I decided to throw together a couple of other things from Porgy and Bess. Uh, so of course Bess you is my woman and all of that. So the, that all started because of uh, Inkmark playing Summertime. Now I'm going to go back to the organ and do a big fun piece. Do uh, you want to hear the, uh, uh, the America the Beautiful thing, or uh, what, what would you like to hear? <laughs> Don't forget to write requests down here. Oh, there's Ed. Hello, Ed. Ed is the minister of the church, if you don't know him. We do have a lot of people who are, you know, who don't go to church here regularly. Maybe you should. <laughs> I don't usually play Porgy and Bess music in the service, but we, we can work that in. Yes, wonderful to see so many people here. So we'll throw the Hallelujah Chorus thing in uh, next, uh, next week. Um, and maybe we can get Joshua Tomon to play again for us. It would be wonderful. And uh, uh, Tom Woodman. Ah, that's wonderful. All right. Uh, I have a request for... We did, uh, we did that one already. Uh, I got a request for uh, an English national song, uh, which uh, one of the titles was Jerusalem. I don't know if I have the right one or not. And so we got pieces of it from here and there. And did those feet in ancient times? Is that it? Ah, this is Hubert Perry who lived from 1848 to 1918. I only got pieces of it. <laughs> hey Joshua, how's this for a score? <laughs> so there were other parts written in here and there, so I clipped out what I thought were the most important melody parts. So I'm going to do my best with this one, okay? Uh, we make no promises, but uh, you know, if I if I, uh, if I get turned around in here and it winds up sounding like a moonlight serenade, just smile. <laughs> uh, so this is a, a, this is a, it's sort of subtitle is uh, Jerusalem, but it's an English national hymn. I think it might have been uh, played in, uh, in one of the, uh, one of Diana's son's uh, marriages or something like that. We were trying to remember for sure. So you think this is it? I have never played this, so there's a first time for everything. All right, here we go. <laughs> if, if I wind up with summertime, you'll know I got lost. Wonderful to see all of you. Oh, it's, uh, okay. Is Jocelyn still here? Oh, she was here earlier. She's our uh, a director of a social, social justice. Uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful lady. Okay. I'll give this a whirl. This is a request. This one's for you, darling.
Thank you. Was that okay? Ah, good. I know, all that came from here. Well, more or less, yes. All right, all right. For national songs, I always uh, have people asking me, uh, we can do, uh, for national songs here, we can either do uh, America, the, why don't I do America the Beautiful? Uh, and uh, that is such a wonderful song, I've played that many, many times. Uh, when you get musicians together, uh, we look at the Star Spangled Banner, you know, it's, it's Star Spangled Banner is really a men's chorus number, it's not really a solo piece. Would you like to play one nice pretty thing, and then I'll play the America the Beautiful, Ingmar. Yes. I can play a religious song. You can do that. We're in church. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see Ingmar sitting here, and you know he's uh, been away for a little while. So I hate to pass up an opportunity to hear him play something. Yes. And then I'll then I'll wind this up today. And I do want to thank you all for uh, for coming by. And please uh, write down your request. So the England talk was okay, huh? Oh, thank you. Like on a uh, A, B, C, D, or it's a good, good grade? All right. All right. Thank you all very much. Good. Okay. This is Ingmar once again. Perfect. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. You know that one. We all know that one. <laughs> all right. I'll find you, don't worry. Okay. I got you. Now you see, if you went to church here, you would hear Joshua Tolman play regularly, and you would hear Ingmar play regularly, and you would hear Ed deliver wonderful sermons Sunday after Sunday. So, uh, what? Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Well, you don't want me to do a sermon. That's better if I stay on the piano or the organ. <laughs> well, I have a tendency to be blabbering off. All right, so here comes our great national song. When you gather uh, musicians together, this is the one we all uh, would like to have and, to, and like to sing when we think about our country. And we look around the world and all the things that are happening in the world and how crazy things are. We have a, uh, a tremendous uh, level of uh, uh, appreciation for what we have here. So thank you all for being here. We have one more week. If I'd known Tom Woodman was coming, 
I would have worked on him to sing a song because this is a glorious baritone voice. So maybe if you're here next week, uh, what if we make a plan. And Joshua, if you have another piece, and uh, Ingmar as well. If I've overlooked any singers, uh, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> How did I get out of that one? So thank you all for being here, and America the Beautiful.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that's a hand for the organ. Uh, the organ went in in 1962, the year I graduated from high school. Thank you all very much for, be, for being here. We'll try to do something like this uh, next week, a little bit different. But uh, we'll try to have uh, uh, Joshua back again, maybe. You let me know. All right, thank you all very much for being here. And I hope you have a pleasant day. Bye now. <laughs>